Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. And today we are going to open this monster club from Great Lakes Jira. Today we are going to be using my favorite kitchen knife to open this box, a Station 9 number 2. I have a club already from Great Lakes Jira. It's over here. It's a 32 kilogram club which is the heaviest club I own, and I wanted a heavier one. I'm trying to work my way up to a 100 pound shield cast for reps. So in order to do that, I need heavier and heavier clubs. These are giant chunks of iron. Man, this box is really, really solid. All right, what's the best way to do this? I gotta say these boxes actually hold up very, very well in shipping. They actually square when they show up, which is pretty rare if you order super heavy kettlebells or clubs. Oh man, third layer, there we go. Okay, all right, this is gonna be hard. Always put your knife away. Oh my God. Whew. Okay, yowza, whew. Just picking it up is hard. So this is the other Great Lakes Gear Club that I have already. This is the 32. This is the 36. It is bigger everywhere. It feels like the handle diameter is actually bigger as well. Is it? I can't tell. This feels slightly bigger. This knob is definitely bigger. Previously, I didn't like really big knobs on the ends of clubs. I preferred something more like this. But with monster clubs, everything changes. With monster clubs, we're really working on the fundamentals first. So I've been working with this 32, and I've been working on shield cast, front squat, and swing clean. Think of it like deadlift, squat, press. But in order to make the 32 feel light, you eventually have to have a heavier weight. So the 36 is 79.2 pounds. This thing should be an absolute monster. This is going to become the medium day for me. This is going to become the heavy day. This is gonna be low rep, this is high rep. This is already up in the 10 sets of 12 range right now. This is gonna start with, I don't know, sets of one. This is the heaviest club that anybody I know has. So let's see if we can shield cast it without ripping our spine in half. That actually becomes like a real danger with something this heavy. All right. sets of three, it shall be. We're gonna start at maybe five sets of three, start adding volume, six sets of three, seven sets of three, build up to 10 sets of three, and then go to sets of four. Think of these ultra heavy clubs like deadlifting really big weights, you know, this is like kind of like deadlifting 450 only for shield casts. All right, let's try some on the other side. Two feet point straight ahead, top hand is the important one. Elbow lock, sit back in the heels. It's not a lot of weight to swing. It is a lot of weight to catch. Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. The math on heavy club swinging tracks pretty well from low weight, say 10 pounds to 50 pounds. The way that you run that program is normally a time under tension program where you set an amount of time, you do specific exercises, and you work a lot on complexity and you track your numbers over time so you can see how good you get. Rotating is the base human athletic action. It is the thing that separates us from everything else on the planet. We have thumbs for a reason. It's so that we can hold clubs and we do throwing patterns. All throwing patterns are rotation. All club exercises 
emphasize rotation. They make you better at it, they make you stronger at it, they make you less susceptible to injury. When you have big jumps between weights, like these 4K jumps, instead of 1.25 pound jumps that you get from adjustable club systems, the math on everything changes, how you train changes. You go from a time under tension protocol back towards a pure strength training protocol. Suddenly you're treating it like powerlifting or Olympic lifting, but as volume cycles because you cannot micro load the weight. You start with something like sets of three and then you add sets over time. Your breaks are long because the weights are incredibly heavy. The same way with a super heavy deadlift or a heavy back squat, you have to let your central nervous system recover in between. With a barbell, you are unlikely to hit yourself in the face if your central nervous system fries and you lose it for a half a second. The most important thing with ultra heavy clubs and club swinging in general is safety. If your order position is good, everything can be good. If your shield cast is good, everything can be good and everything else is based on that. With heavy clubs, it goes back to a hip hinge, a squat, and a press. That means a swing, a squat, and a shield cast.